All right, my beautiful friends. It is still Friday, March 15, 2019, my post-market wrap-up. So, um, cute little rally here on Wall Street today. Um, I know you're not surprised about that. Uh, <laughs> but what may surprise you, I doubt it though, is, is this. Now, this is a secret. This is between you and me. You got it? Now, this is the CNBC app once again. Bond market, you know, you're not supposed to be looking at this. No, no, no. Look at that one year. The one year is paying more than the two year, more than the three year, more than the five year. And look at that, more than the seven year. You know, just don't worry about that. You know, it's the stock market's going higher. So, uh, you know, don't worry about the bond market. No, no, no. But that's, uh, this is the game. Now, let me say this real quick. Next week, huge big tremendous week we got the fed and we got some economic data as well <laughs> it's going to be bad too just like today you know we got that uh, in us industrial output i mean you want to talk about missing the mile missing the mark by a mile well that's what happened but stocks still went higher oh yeah isn't it beautiful um, it's uh it's an incredible thing but you and I, what we're going to do, we're going to reconvene here on Sunday and we're going to talk about what's down, coming down the pike here next week. Um, and it's going to be interesting and we'll do that on Sunday, you know, my markets, a look ahead segment. Let me just talk about something kind of, well, it is connected, not, not so much to the markets, but to what we're seeing here. I want you to start paying attention to subtle things. So we understand this is an, uh, an election cycle. We got more and more characters coming out of the woodwork. So today, President Trump had made a comment about a gentleman on the uh, Democratic side who's running for president. President Trump said something about his hands. He uses his hands a lot or a lot of hand gestures. Ironically, the president, when he was campaigning, was kind of perplexed that people were paying attention to his hands. You remember that whole thing? But, but there's something else behind it. And I'm glad it came up because I want you to start opening your mind a little bit. Um, start paying attention to a couple of things. Seriously. Um, what the hell am I talking about here? Start paying attention to movements uh, specifically rhythmic movements that are being made by someone trying to sell you something or even sell themselves, certain phrases, poses that they might go into, um, certain colors they may be wearing. All of these things are done on purpose to elicit a particular response. Even like a TV commercial, for example. How many of you have seen when things are repeated three times. Uh, often they'll say in succession a particular phrase, boom, 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 three times. If you notice a lot of the drug commercials, they're done outside. It's it's the whole picture is slowed down. A bunch of people smiling and laughing and like a big family thing. These are not done by accident, and none of the gestures or movements or poses that uh, are being done here by our politicians uh, or anyone else for that matter who has an agenda um, is is done by accident either. Understand? There's a kind of an awareness that you can tap into seriously if you pay attention to just little subtle things and it'll, it'll become very real to you. It's incredible. Uh, anyway, with that said, one more thing before I let you go. Um, I am contemplating getting some of you guys and girls together right here in Las Vegas. Specifically, I'm looking at this date, May, Saturday, May 18th, I had to write it down. So Saturday, May 18th at the Bellagio, just a bunch of people get together at a bar, have a good time. I don't want to talk about the markets, 
But if this is interesting to you, if you like to get together in Vegas or you need an excuse to come out here, well, why not, right? So um, if this is a good date for you, if you're interested in this, let me know. Post it. Hey, Greg, be lots of fun. Be cool to see you. I would love to meet some of you. So um, I already floated this idea out earlier today on my social networks. If this is something you might want to do, uh, let me know. And I will put a definite date if I get a bunch of people saying, hey, you know, it sounds like a lot of fun. So that's what we'll do again Saturday, May 18th, right here in Las Vegas at the Bellagio. With that said, I'll see all of you Sunday. And we have a lot to talk about with this next week coming with the Fed. Uh, a lot of stuff coming down the pike. So I'll see you Sunday. But love each other. Care about each other. And be charitable. This guy loves you. And I will. See you Sunday.